This brings us neatly to the newly launched Infiniti Q60, the rival to German offerings such as the Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe, BMW 4 Series and the Audi A5 Coupe. It certainly looks the part, but does the Japanese Coupe have the function to follow its form? Well, let's find out. Visually, the Q60 is essentially a tweaked version of the stunning concept that Infiniti first introduced during the 2015 Detroit Motor Show. The front face carries the brand's defining double arch grille design, where the top span represents the profile of a typical Japanese bridge, while the lower span its reflection in the water. This brings us neatly to the newly launched Infiniti Q60 the rival to German offerings such as the Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe, BMW 4 Series and the Audi A5 Coupe. It certainly looks the part, but does the Japanese Coupe have the function to follow its form? Well, let's find out. Visually, the Q60 is essentially a tweaked version of the stunning concept that Infiniti first introduced during the 2015 Detroit Motor Show. The front face carries the brand's defining double arch grille design, where the top span represents the profile of a typical Japanese bridge, while the lower span its reflection in the water. This brings us neatly to the newly launched Infiniti Q60, the rival to German offerings such as the Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe, BMW 4 Series and the Audi A5 Coupe. It certainly looks the part. But does the Japanese coupe have the function to follow its form? Well, let's find out. Visually, the Q60 is essentially a tweaked version of the stunning concept that Infiniti first introduced during the 2015 Detroit Motor Show. The front face carries the brand's defining double arch grille design, where the top span represents the profile of a typical Japanese bridge while the lower span its reflection in the water. Going back to an earlier statement that the Q60 is more a GT car to this rider than a time attack machine, the inclusion of DAS would certainly be more welcomed. The system, which is unaffected by the kickback and forced movement of conventional steering, would certainly make the car even more comfortable to drive than it already is. The Q60 at least in this guise, is for a different sort of individual, one that isn't focused purely on just raw performance and instead, just wants to draw along at a leisurely pace in comfort, relishing the fact that the car has the visual presence to track eyeballs to it. And when he or she finally stops driving and decides to get out, they can treat their occipital lobe as well. In that aspect, the Q60 is certainly a worthwhile purchase at RM308,800, which is well within range of the 420 INC 200 Coupe AMG line. Lest we forget, there's even a 7-year warranty, which is more than what BMW Malaysia and Mercedes-Benz Malaysia offers. Did I mention it looks really good? For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.